Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to learn how to take the derivative of a complex function. So we're going to take the function e to the zx, where z is equal to a plus bi. And the question is, what is the derivative of that? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our function and split it up like this. So instead of writing e to the a plus bi times x, we're going to write as e to the ax times e to the i bx. So we're separating this into two separate terms and then writing as a product of two exponential functions where only the second one has the i in it. So that's the complex exponential function there. So the derivative now becomes taking the derivative of a product, which means we take the first e to the ax times the derivative of the second. So that would be times e to the i bx times the derivative of the exponent, which, which would be i times b, plus the second, e to the i bx, times the derivative of the first, which is e to the ax, times the derivative of the exponent, which is times a. Now, can we factor something out here? And it looks like we can. We can factor out an e to the ax and an e to the i bx. So this becomes e to the ax, times e to the i bx, and then we have left an i b plus a, and then when we look at this, we look at this, well that's really this in reverse, so that means that this is equal to z, so this can be written as e to the ax times e to the i bx times z, but then when you realize that the product of e to the ax and e to the i bx right here can be written as e to the a plus b i x. So this can be written as e to the a plus b i x times z. And of course, you realize that a plus b i is equal to z. So this can finally be written as z times e to the z x. And this is the derivative of our original function e to the z x. So it looks exactly the same as it would have been if we ignore all this and realize, well, if we take the derivative of e to the zx, we simply rewrite it, that would be e to the zx times the derivative of the, of the exponent, which is z e to the zx, which is exactly what we got. But of course, we wanted to make sure, and so we went through this exercise to show you that it's exactly the same, and that's how it's done. 